Now what's the future of head-up displays? Mercedes will put this to you, DICE. Dynamic and intuitive control experience. It's a mock-up here of a future vehicle, but look what this does. You see the entire windscreen is being used as a head-up display. Things can appear anywhere in your field of view, not the limited space that we see in cars today. Interacting with it is also much more immersive. Your hand can create this sort of cursor on the screen you see as a grid of dots, so you know where it sees your intention by your hand movement. I can put my hand over this restaurant, let's say, and I'll get information about it. I might see a message coming from one of my contacts. I can push to read it. I can draw down to save it into my main dash, or I can go sideways to discard it for the moment. The big idea here is to take the HUD, make it expansive, but not make it virtual reality. That would blow out your view. It remains augmented reality, but with a full scope of vision. So you're still looking where you would look anyway as a driver. The sizes of head-up displays will get larger and larger, and as you get into, let's say, a space where you can do augmented reality, you know, features and innovation like we have shown here in this DICE, in this dynamic and intuitive control experience, will be possible. This is very natural and very intuitive. You don't really have to learn a lot of new behaviors in terms of where your eyes go. You just learn some new gestures instead. And of course, the fact that we are augmenting reality is a trend that's bobbling up all over the place in consumer electronics to be especially able to project the images you know, further away from the car. Because at the end of the day, drivers are still driving themselves and that should be the primary task. Now you may recall Mercedes has been showing Google Glass integrated with their cars, but they don't see you using that while driving. The main reason why we do not want customers actually to use it while driving is we cannot control what is being projected on that screen. We would never allow any information or anything to be distracting you while driving. Instead, Mercedes sees something like Glass as a pre-drive informational tool and then perhaps a last block navigational tool after you park and arrive. Additionally, it's not completely in your field of view. So that means you would have to look away from the road. Edmunds.com has done a survey of the market that suggests the number of cars with a head-up display will have nearly tripled in the last five years, up to nearly 40 models in 2014.